It's time to try a test. Here we have the windlass crossbow, Kranekin crossbow. I will have a long bow. This is a short bow used everywhere. We archers would need years of training. Here's a handgun of about 1450 and a matchlock musket of about 1550. Now the firearms are complicated to load but relatively easy to aim and fire. We've got three targets. The first one at 20 yards, where we'll see which weapons can penetrate it. Next one is at 40 yards, which we'll see which weapons can reach it and how many can penetrate it. And the final one is at 60 yards. I want you to shoot, loose and fire as much as you can. Are you ready? Ready. ready. The team shoots at the first target 20 yards away. All the projectiles hit the armoured dummy. The guns make some nice holes, and the longbow and the crossbows are close enough to pick off the ideal target, the face. But the arrows from the short bow just bounce off. Even at this close range, this weapon requires a well-aimed shot to an unarmoured part of the body. So the short bow is eliminated. Next, the second target at 40 yards. After three tries, the longbow finally strikes the target. The matchlock hits with ease. Both crossbows are accurate enough to strike the target, but don't quite penetrate the heavy armor. The handgun is completely inaccurate and is eliminated. For the third target at 60 yards, my longbow should certainly be able to penetrate the armor, if I can hit it. I shoot plenty of arrows, but I miss which eliminates the longbow and leaves the crossbows and the matchlock. The crossbowmen have to carefully adjust the elevation and allow for windage, which is the effect of any side wind on the bolt. One bolt actually does hit the target, but with so little power that it bounces off. The matchlock hits and punches straight through the armor. The crossbow loses out making the matchlock the superior weapon.